Rethink clean and simple cards. Forget the white space and go for full color. I have two different designs today, plus a bonus Zentangle card. Let's get started. So I have some alcohol here and an eight and a half by 11 piece of glossy photo paper. And I'm gonna be working on the back of the paper. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know I have a whole ream of this Kirkland photo paper that I'm not using for printing photos. So it goes right towards my alcohol ink projects. So I've just used a pipette and put down quite a bit of alcohol on the surface because I find with this lower grade kind of paper as opposed to Yupo paper, the alcohol inks don't move as freely as they do on Yupo paper. So this helps me get those alcohol inks moving. I have a whole selection of Altenew al alcohol inks here and um, I'm going to do a rainbow card because it's Pride Month. So I thought some rainbow cards would be great to support our friends. So I'm using Pink Diamond, and if you watched my last video, I recently purchased a bunch of Altenew alcohol inks in the lightest colors in the set. So my markers rarely run out of ink, and I mostly use these Artist Marker Refills, or alcohol inks as they've rebranded them, for alcohol ink projects. I've got Pink Diamond and Pink Pearl here. So rather than buy the full four set of colors, which can get kind of pricey, I just bought the lightest colors in the color families that I really love. And you're going to see those here. These are all of my new ones. Plus, I brought I bought a couple neutrals. Um, I bought sand dunes and limestone, which is a light, cool gray. So I have, what is that? Vanilla cream, dew drops. I'm going to use that for my green. I, I tend to use teal rather than a true green because the yellow and the teal are going to mix together and create a more um, traditional green anyway. I also have iceberg and then for my lavender I'm using lavender fields. So this is super fun. I'm loving how this is looking. The alcohol ink that's on the page is helping them move around a little bit but I don't want these colors to mix together too much. I want to keep those individual bands to keep that rainbow look. So you can see I'm just tilting the paper up and down to just get it moving side to side so that I get full coverage. Now I have all this space at the bottom, so I decided, okay, I can get a couple card panels out of the top of this. Why don't I do a rainbow going across and do a slimline card down on the bottom? So, you know, I think a lot of people will go ahead and cut their Yupo paper down to card size and maybe just do their alcohol ink on an A2 size piece of Yupo paper, but if you do it on an eight and a half by 11, you can get multiple cards out of the one piece that you've made. So it kind of gives you more space to play around and you can also add other mediums into this. If you're into mixed media, you can certainly, once this dries, you can do some stenciling. You can actually use stencils with your alcohol inks while they're wet. Um, I will, at the end of the video, I'll put a playlist for my alcohol ink project so you can check that out. So you can see I'm still doing rainbow order here and I'm just adding them. I'm not squeezing the bottle, I'm just letting gravity um, let the alcohol ink kind of drip out of the bottle. I got a little too much purple on my blue there so I'm just gonna blot that up with the microfiber cloth and add a little more blue there just so that I don't lose all my blue to the purple. You'll see that some of these colors will push the other alcohol inks away. I really found that quite a bit in my last video. Um, what color was it? Cloudy Sky, it was a little bit of a darker color. It just really repelled the other colors around it, which was kind of cool to see that. Rather than waiting for all of this ink to dry, I pulled out my heat tool and I have it on the lowest setting. You want to use it six to eight inches away from your paper and keep it moving so the paper doesn't melt. Here you see two types of clean and simple cards, one with loads of white space and the one on the left, I just rethought it, forget the white space and go for tons of color because after all, that's what our alcohol panel is. You can see I have lots of that panel left over. This one I'm gonna use on another slimline card. And I'm gonna show you a bonus card with some Zentangle at the end of this video. But I'm loving this full color panel and we're still able to keep it clean and simple even though there's not a lot of white space. So for this slimline card, which is three and a half by eight and a half inches. No, actually, no, that's not true. It's three by eight and a half inches, this one. I'm using the Delicate Stripes washi tape, 
And I'm just going to run this down the side. I don't ever measure or line things up, you guys. I just eyeball it and it is what it is. I don't, I don't have the time or the patience to pull out the rulers and the grids and all of that to make it just right. It's a handmade card. If things are a little off, I'm totally okay with that. So I've got my thin strip of all of the rainbow colors here. And for this card, I decided to go with some high contrast to the white background. And I die cut happy birthday out of 120 pound black cardstock. That way I don't have to stack it as many times. And which I really like because I don't like stacking like four different die cuts. And especially if it's like one that's fiddly and has the little dot that goes above the eye. I don't want to do four layers of that. So I try to use a, a thicker cardstock. Here I'm using the Just a Number stamp set and trying to figure out what other sentiment I want to use. I'm going to condition the stamp by just rubbing my palm over it. I'm using the Obsidian Pigment Ink, which is what I use for all of my sentiments because it is super crisp and stamps great with just one stamping. And that is going to finish off this clean and simple slimline card. This one has tons of white space, but you can see that card on the left just bang with all of that color. So forget your white space, go for that full color. And there you can see I added the white sentiments. Now this card that I'm doing next, while it's not clean and simple, you guys know that I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. I obviously had a bunch of alcohol ink panel left over, so I thought I would throw in a bonus card. I used a white charcoal pencil to just section off a couple areas. That's called a string in Zentangle. And adding those sections just kind of helps you with your composition and helps you split up the different patterns. If you're enjoying this video, give it a like and subscribe down below with notifications on so you don't miss my next video. And I'm going to pop on some music while I tangle so that you guys can enjoy it in peace. And I will catch you back for the next steps.
Okay, so I fill the rest of this panel with the same pattern, so I'm not gonna show that on the video because it just becomes really repetitive. But I pulled out the mini dots washi tape and I tore the edges so that I would have um, more of an organic edge on the washi tape. And I'm going to adhere the Zentangle panel and alcohol ink panel in the middle of this. Now, of course, we're moving away from that clean and simple, right? So we talked about what clean and simple is and what it's not. I'm starting to have a bunch of layers. I've got the washi tape, I have the alcohol ink panel, and of course the alcohol ink panel is filled with tangle patterns. So there's a lot going on with this card. I opted for the happy birthday stamps from the Just a Number stamp set rather than the die cuts this time. And here's the finished card. I only stamped it once so you can see I've got a little bit of texture in my sentiment there, but I really love that look. I hope you guys will rethink your clean and simple cards and go for full color. Forget the white, go for full color. Or if you really love your white space, of course you can do a design like the slimline card here. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you soon with more inspiration. Be sure to like and subscribe down below.